What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FC25 video. It is 6pm, it is Wednesday and yesterday you'll notice I didn't upload a 6pm video. That is because there was just one 82 by 3 which was a re-up and nothing else. Um, so I don't know what EA are doing honestly this year. Um, I know we don't need like bundles and bundles of content every day. And it doesn't always have to be flushed with insane packs and player rewards and stuff. But it feels like there's like less than normal. And again, the old rush event ended. There is no new rush event today, which is a bit sad. We obviously do have a team of the week three today. So we'll, we'll get something at the very least um, to have a little look at. Nothing new in seasonal. Nothing new in live. Nothing new in milestones. Do you imagine it's just that again? Do we have a new evolution? Come on, EA. Come on. See us nice. <laughs> no new evolution. Wow, man. Wow. Okay. Um, and so, if we don't have an SBC, it's just going to be team of the week. Base icon lone player. Ah. Oh. Is. Nah. There's no new players. There's, I mean, there's a lot of players there, don't get me wrong. Um, but there's no new players. Upgrades. A one of three base icon loan for 10 games. Who cares? I mean, I'll do it. I'll do it. But this is poor, isn't it? This is really poor. Let, let me build this real quick. For cheap, safe, and fast FC25 coins, go to U4GM. They have over 8,000 comments on Trustpilot with a 4.6 rating. And to get 5% off your order, use code NEP at checkout. Check out the link in the description. Now let's get back to the video. All right, here we go. Our lone base icon player pick. Obviously, if like I do this on the Arsenal account and we hit like a Thierry Henry or a Patrick Vieira for 10 games, I would be happy with that. What do we get? Casillas, Socrates, and more. Socrates, probably the only player here worth picking up. Four star, five star, six foot four. Banging stats. Low, low balance, but general banging stats. Uh, Ariel, Travella, Flair, technical, and incisive plus with playmaker plus plus. It's good. It's good. It's a 10 game loan. I suppose to a degree, he's a half million coin icon. I suppose to a degree, you could just have him in. Um, you know, left on one game forever. And that is it in terms of upgrades. And then we do have Road to the Knockout Challenge for three for an untradeable mega pack, which gives us needs 31 chemistry, nine rares, one club max four, same region minimum five, same league minimum two. I mean, it is just a one league kind of dobby here. But for a mega pack, I mean, come on EA, man. Like... What are we doing here, right? I'm yelling timber. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this in here together. Um, maybe some of these players are a bit more expensive than others, but do you know what? I don't care. I just don't care. Um, 83s are 800 coins and not even really selling. I don't think I have any enough players from one particular nation here, do I? Oh, I do. I just need an English player that gets one chemistry. I just need an English player. Uh, an English striker. Because Gomez got one. Oh, there you go. Paris. Bosch. 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 There's my mega pack, baby. Get rid of all that fodder. I probably actually had things in the uh, duplicate exchange, um, which is really cool, by the way. But EA have not really... Uh, I don't know. A bit weird how they've set it up. Again, guys, I'm not trying to complain. I'm just kind of like voicing my opinion. This is poor from EA, man. This is poor. We get a mega pack, a lone icon, and a team of the week. And that's it. Oh, a shadow. Nice. Um, I probably do. I've got 95 players in the untradeable thing. Um, I just don't I don't understand it, is is the truth. I don't get it. Uh, however, let's go and have a look at the said team of the week. I do know that there is a, a Gabriele Martinelli in there. Um, also Cole Palmer. Jonathan David, 84 rated. He's got Relentless, Traveller, and Quick Step. He's got decent stats. Three star, five star. We've got Lataro Martinez, four star, four star, for Nest Shot Plus. Really good card. With Relentless, Technical, and Power Shot as well. Really good card. We've got Pajor, 
I've been using her gold card. It's so good. It's a shame it's three star, three star. Ah, uh, this is crazy card. You've got quick step plus. Sorry, relent. Uh, rapid plus as well. Uh, Cole Palmer has got his in form, deservedly so as well. Four goals in one half of football. Um, we've got Riten. We've got Stanway. We have got Gabriel Martinelli on the four star, three star. Good cards. Uh, we've got Van de Ven, of course, Ed Air Militao, Kim Min Jay. Wow, lots of good centre backs. Jack Butland, Clinton Matter, Defour, Fashion Sakala, Staj, Sergio Gomez, Marmouche, Brian Z Zaragota, Ismail Is Ismajli, uh, Gray, Borja, Science, Cham, and Diele. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and have a look at those on Footbin. Oz. I want to see like the upgrades and stuff. So in terms of SBCs today, guys, yeah, this is massively downvoted. This is massively upvoted. Fair enough. I think is I suppose it's a good way to get rid of some of your your fodder that you have got. This is a laughable SBC. <clears throat> We've got our first icon player pick of FC twenty five, and it's a loan. And we had a hero loan last week. I really hope EA don't start leaning into this loan thing. Like, I really like the days loan thing, you know, where you get like a four-day loan. I don't mind that. And I'd be a lot more open to having that way more regularly to actually just try players for a few days. But 10 games just is so limited. Um, you know, you could, especially if people quit against you, 10 games could be gone in a heartbeat. Whereas if they just did, like, if they did this instead of as a 10-game loan, a 48-hour loan, like, nice. I'll complete this on the weekend. I'll have 48 hours to play with this in foot champs. I'll get a true feeling for the icon. Love to see it. But because it's a 10 game loan, yeah, just a bit stinky. And the worst thing is, like myself included here, the fact that I went and did this SBC and you're going to do it and everyone's going to do it. Of course, we're all going to do it. Um, EA are going to be like, they really like this. Look how they did it. We'll do it again. And then it's like, it's not what we want, right? It's not what we want. Um, yeah, in terms of evolutions, there's no evolutions today. So it is just team of the week three. Latara Martinez, Pajor. Ooh, Defour, nice. Gabriel Martinelli, Van de Ven, Cole Palmer, Eder Militao. I mean, there's some nice ones here I do want to look at. Um, Sergio Gomez looks okay. Jonathan David I like. Fashion Zakala is interesting, but not crazy. Marmouche could have a really good card. Um, so let's have a look at some of these. So Latara Martinez has got two pace, two passing, and one's elsewhere. Has he had like upgrades? So he was 4 4 already with false nine plus plus, still the same power shot, finesse shot, plus technical and relentless. Um, power shot, yeah, they're, they're, it's, it's kind of just the regular upgrades they're giving, they're not giving like anything else at this moment in time. But I think Pajord. Oh, no, she does have a uh, rapid plus. Azure has been given three heading accuracy, two physical and passing. Yeah, passing's not the best, to be fair. But everything else about her is very, very, very good. Three-star, three-star sucks a bit, but she's very good. Um, we've got Defour. Now, this looks like a very good card, actually. Yeah, I like this card. Um, Well-rounded dribbling and passing, decent shooting and pace. Four star, three star only, but she's going to be cheap with an engine chem style. I think that's a very, very strong card. French as well, the four star weak foot. Sorry, four star skill moves. It's nice. Um, Gabriel Martinelli. They gave him two pace, two dribbling, three shooting, three passing, three physical, two defending. War an upgrade. War an upgrade for Martinelli. I'm being serious as well. I I'll, give him, uh, I'll give him an engine. Great pace, great dribbling, decent finishing. Good passing. I need him in my team, guys. How cheap is he already? 175k. I might buy him, but I need him in my team. Van de Ven. Now, this centre-back is going to be crazy in-game. Only one pace, three physical, big passing, big dribbling, and good defending. That is a huge boost. And then you just pop an anchor on this man. He's lengthy. Oh, my days. Six foot four as well. Does he have aura? That's the question, guys. You tell me. Does he have aura? What's he got? Block, slide tackle. He doesn't really have good play styles. Does he have aura? Cole Palmer. Got ones, two passing, two pace, and then ones across the board. They should have put his set pieces or his, like, his free kick accuracy to like 90. Um, quality card for Cole. I'd probably give him a maestro. Yeah, I would. 90 rated cam. 
four star skill moves, three star weak foot. Um, it's nice. It's a good card. It's a good card at six two as well for Palmer. Is nice. Ma makes him like really usable in game. Edir Militao got one pace defending, dribbling, two physical. I mean, this is a quality card as well. Shadow on him, no anchor for mostly lengthy. Great pace, great defending, great physical. Again, just a great card. 640k for him. Kim Min J. Three pace. Wow. Three pace, three dribbling. Loads of passing, loads of defending and physical. Again, this is a good card. Shadow Chem style keeps him lengthy, gives him very good pace, very good defending, good physicals. I mean, fair play, guys. There, there's some really nice cards available, man. We've got a Riten. You've got two shooting and defending, otherwise one's across the board. Quality card again. Quality card. Engine chem style. Nope. Maestro chem style. A camera maestro on the wing, maybe an engine. Um, that's probably what I'd go with. Four star, three star for her. Jonathan David got four pace, three shooting, 10 heading accuracy. Big dribbling upgrade. A hunter for him is the one, man. With that five star weak foot, you burst into the space. Got false nine and poacher, which is why I'd use poacher. He's got relentless. He's got quick step. So use that LB speed boost into the space and then just hit with whatever foot you want because he's got five star. And then Marmouche. Marmouche. Reasonable upgrade for him as well. This is a cool card. A little low on reactions. But a hunter on him. That is a very good card as well. Guys, there's a lot of good cards in Team of the Week. Team of the Week is actually pretty legit. Um, it's also really, 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 really well priced as well. Uh, you know, Martinez at 380, Cole Palmer already down at 190. We've got Martinelli at 240, Van der Ven and Eder Militao are the best team of the weeks for price this week with Martinez just in behind. Most of the others are already down at like discard price or around that point. And it might be smart if you've got the spare coins, guys. I should do this myself as well. Start picking them up and just storing them because if slash when team of the weeks go to like 40, 50, 60K again because of SBCs and lack of supply, you're going to make an absolute killing. So just every time you've got some spare coins, invest in them in Team of the Weeks. Worst case scenario, you discard the card, get your coins back. Best case scenario, the card goes through the roof of price and you make loads of profit. Um, but as far as it goes, for today, that, that is it, isn't it? That is it. The Team of the Week, no evolution, no objectives, no new rush event, just two SBCs, that's what we got for today. As always, thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I will see you next time. I'm out. Peace.